So I had an ID before I leave Melbourne to go and look for the spirit of Christmas, which I'll call solstice because it's the summer solstice coming over here while it's the winter solstice coming to the northern hemisphere. And in my mind, Christmas is winter solstice and not summer solstice. So let's hunt for the spirit of the solstice. I live on the outside of the city. Like usually, if you want to hunt for that spirit, it's around commercial areas. There is one right over there, right next to my place. So we're gonna go check it out and see what we can find of Christmassy things around there. Let's go do that. So that's what you get in, uh, as far as Christmas goes here in Fairfield. Uh, quite subtle. Uh, not really feeling the Christmas vibe. I don't know. Do you? Uh, we will see in Northcote, which might be a little bit better. The, the, the name Northcote makes it, I don't know, sounds a bit more Christmassy. But yeah, so far for Fairfield. Uh, it's, it's, to me, it feels like it's uh, either you do it well or you don't do it and there probably would have been better off not doing anything. I don't know. Does it really make a difference when it's so subtle? I don't know. Let's keep hunting for Christmas decoration. they have to ask the question so not really but yeah they're making the effort they're trying mostly it's like you see the hashtag it's mostly to incense people to just buy stuff not really to care about the spirit of Christmas so yeah there do is a bunch of lights that because it's the middle of the day we're not saying so maybe I'll come back later today one thing that is different from the other neighborhoods that I've seen is those red poles I feel like they're being painted, painted red for Christmas uh, in other places they just put some wrapping stuff around it but yeah that's that's something let's head towards the city center uh, we might be able to find more Christmas spirits over there. try to keep hunting for the solstice spirit and uh, 
will I, I, I think I've spotted a Christmas market somewhere uh, I've been to Christmas market around Europe and Belgium uh, so I, I've seen a lot of them I guess also in London and stuff like that so we'll see over here how, how it is because um, yeah definitely Christmas markets are part of the solstice spirit and also downtown is the area where you can find like squares and alleys and malls that can gather a bit of the Christmas spirit so let's go check that out As I mentioned earlier, uh, the best place to check uh, Christmas decoration would be uh, commercial areas. So there's a bunch of malls downtown, which I'm pretty sure are going to be the best places of all to have to see Christmas decoration. I keep saying Christmas. I said at the beginning I would say solstice, solstice decoration. So I am quite surprised, even here in the shopping center that's around uh, Melbourne Central, there is not much decoration at all. Like there are those colorful lights that you can see a bit around me, which is barely Christmassy and and it's, the rest is just up to the stores. If the stores have Christmas decoration, there's going to be a little bit of it. But otherwise, it's just business as usual. Alright, so I've actually found the most Christmassy part, solstice part of Melbourne. It's actually funny that there's like huge, like not huge, but construction right next to it and demolition. Um, what I've noticed mostly is that a whole bunch of things are actually, which makes sense, happening at night with like lights and stuff here and there. Uh, considering we're at the summer solstice night, it's gonna be in a while. So it's probably around noon, a little bit after that, and the sun doesn't come down until like 8 or something. So I'm just gonna have to find stuff to do around here. I, I got a couple of errands that I need to run. 
the days are long and it's very sunny and Christmas not not what I have in mind but. all right we'll deal with it Australia we're gonna try to find some stuff to do in the meantime